Many of the runners are making their way to Hopkinton right now. Our Christina Hager is riding along with them. She is live now. Christina? Hi. Well, we are on the bus from the finish line in Boston, headed to Hopkinton. We're west on the Mass Pike right now. Um, this is always fun to be part of this crowd. But I have to tell you, this is very different than years past. We've been doing this for maybe the last five years or so. And normally it's very quiet. These runners are sometimes nervous or just very thoughtful, kind of looking out the window, thinking about the big day ahead. It's loud in here this morning. This is a chatty crowd. They're socializing. They're comparing stories. A lot of them have traveled very far to get here. So I'm going to talk to this runner behind me because when I asked, who wants to be on TV? He was the first one to say, me, he's not shy. Tell me your name and where you're from. <laughs> My name, Fueling up for the day. Yes. My name is Ruben Chaires Gizar. Um, I'm coming from South Carolina, even though I was born in Mexico. I was raised in the United States, so I'm very excited to be here. Um, right. This is one thing that I never thought I would actually be able to do. Because when I started running, I was terrible. Terrible. The worst runner ever. But slowly but surely, I just kept coming back, kept coming back. And uh, eventually one day last year, I decided to do my first marathon. And uh, everything went wrong that day. I forgot my watch. I mean, my training was just terrible some, for some reason. And when I did the marathon, I, I was thinking I was at, when I was at mile 22 or so, I was thinking I was already at four hours. But when I got close to the finish line, kind of find out I was like at 250 something. And I was like, oh my God, wow. I got to push it. Even though everything in my body hurt, it felt like I was being electrocuted the whole entire way. Every step I took, my muscle just tightened up. And I just pushed it to finish line. I got a 259 on my first try ever during the marathon. To qualify for boss. To qualify so for Here you boss. are. So this is your second marathon. Mm -hmm. yes, so marathon. you know there's been so much talk about the weather. What do you think about that? As you look out the window, you can see it's starting to drizzle. That's supposed to turn into a heavier rain, maybe some lightning before. This is during your wait before you even start running. How will that affect you? Um, I, I look at it with a smile and say, bring it on. I mean, any challenge I take is a challenge to make me better. I mean, it's only going to make me better. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So as long as I don't die, I'll become stronger after this. So I look at it with a smile. All right. Well, congratulations. You've made it here. And I, I really appreciate the attitude of these runners because that's what I keep hearing. You know, we're so nervous about the weather, but I think they just, they know this is a huge challenge. They can't control it. They're going to get through it no matter what. So the journey officially begins now as we make our way to the start line in Hopkinton. For now, we are live somewhere on the Mass Pike. I'm Christina Hager. Back to you guys.